uh, my wife Becky and I have been coming to Pathways for 16 years now. And uh, we're involved with the Rancho Santa Marta um, short-term missions trip. You know, we also host a small group and we just love fellowshipping here. just want to tell you my story. Um, when, I was, when I was 20 years old, I began to develop um, anxiety and, and panic attacks and um, it was it was devastating and, and at first I had no idea what was happening what was going on um, it felt as though uh, my life was uh, spinning out of control um, it was a, a very dark and, and discouraging place and and there was a, a point at which I, I felt like you know I'm never going to have a normal life. Uh, I'm never going to have a normal job. I'm never going to get married. I'm never going to have a family. And it was all because of this, um, this, this anxiety and, and, and panic disorder that I was experiencing, and it was frightening. And I remember, I remember, I, I would carry around uh, Isaiah 41:10 uh, on, on a three by five card, and and that says that you know, don't be afraid, for I am with you. Uh, don't be discouraged, for I am your God. Um, I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. And, and that was a verse that when I was in the midst of, of, of anxiety that I, I would just, I would pull that out and I would, I would read it over and over again and it helped me. It helped me get through and you know, I, I, I did seek help, um, I, I got support and, and I learned to live with uh, the anxiety, um, I learned to cope, and, and that was the beginning of the healing process for me. It's still a part of me. It's, it's still uh, who I am. Um, you know, and looking back at that experience, um, there's another verse that I, I wish I would have had at the time, and that's um, one that's fairly famous, uh, Jeremiah 29:11, and it says, "For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord." Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Uh, plans to give you hope and a future. And while I felt incredibly uh, alone and, and, and isolated during that, that time in my life, and it was over the course of several years, many years, um, God was in the middle of that. God was, was walking through that um, with me. And I see that now. I see that um, He had my future in mind that he had the plan and and that experience and, and, and that that part of my life really shaped uh, who I am today it, it shaped me into the husband that I am it shaped me into the father that I am the friend that I am and even in my career um, it, it shaped me into the the, 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 the leader that, that I that I now need to be for the agency that I serve and so if there was some encouragement that I could give uh, anyone, um, it would be this, is that, that there is always hope. Um, that hope exists because regardless of what we're going through, uh, no matter what it is, um, God has a plan for your life. And, and that plan, like, like Jeremiah says, is for good. It's, it's to prosper you, it's not to harm you. And while this chapter of your plan um, might be a difficult one, the next page will, will always turn. And I believe that eventually it ends with, with God's amazing grace and His goodness for our life. Mm -hmm.